Hey guys, this is Nitij and I am back with another video. This video is about self-executing functions in the JavaScript language. So a self-executing function is a function which gets immediately invoked as soon as it is compiled by the browser. So over here there is, a, there is an HTML page and in this page there is a script block and I'm going to start by writing a very simple function with the name some function and in this function I am going to log a message on the console with the value as hello world now in order for us to invoke this function what we need to do is we need to call this function by writing this functions name and in the browser the message is printed on the console okay so now if we want to convert this function into a self executing function then all we have to do is we have to enclose this function in brackets and then we have to invoke it immediately after the brackets are closed and that's it now we don't need to call this function separately and when I'm refreshing the page then the message is getting printed which simply means that the function is being executed now over here we can further go ahead and we can remove the name of this function so that it will become an anonymous function and we are immediately executing it after it has been declared or after it has been initialized so this function is also a self executing function self executing functions are also called as immediately invoked function expressions because they are immediately invoked as soon as they are read by the browser okay so now I am going to explain to you the two most important ways in which we can use this function the first one is to implement closers and the second one is to create modules or to write modular code now the first one is to implement closures a closer is simply an area which has its own private state so over here we have an anonymous function which is getting immediately invoked and I'm simply going to comment on this one because we don't need this function anymore now in this function there is a variable which is called as message and it has the value of hello world so as you have already guessed I'm going to print this message again on the console but this time I'm going to return an object and this object has a property called as show message and the value of this show message property is a function which is writing the value of the message onto the console and we still need to call this function show message using this object which is getting returned from this anonymous function what we can do is we can simply get the value into an, into an object and then we can call the show message from over here and in the browser we again have the hello world actually hello world is getting printed two times I think it was a text I don't know I think I might have dragged something and then it might have got copied on the console but there is only a single message getting printed on the console so over here this 
object is holding on to the reference of this message variable even after this function has been executed but in normal scenarios whenever we create a function and then if there is a variable let's say that there is a message over here then as soon as this function is executed then the garbage collector simply collects the all collects the reference of this variable because it is no longer being referenced by anywhere but in this case this object that we are returning from this from this function is holding on to a reference of this message inside this object so this message will not be collected by the garbage collector and here we have a closer and we have implemented it using a self-executing function block and you know what what we can do is we can simply put dot after this and then we can call the show message directly if you don't want to you know use an external object to do that all right now let's move on to the second most popular use which is to create modules now we can create individual modules using a self executing function block the basic idea behind this is that we can send in arguments and then these arguments can then be used inside this block now you might say that we can access the window inside this function because if the code is not going to find the reference or the or the value of this window inside this function or inside the current scope then the code will simply look in the in the parent scope to find the window but the thing is that this approach gives us a very small performance boost because we are caching the reference of window and document inside the arguments and what else we can do is we can also send in the value uh, of the undefined because when we are not sending any argument when we are not sending any value for the argument then the value uh, is undefined in javascript so this uh, pattern is basically useful for older browser versions where the undefined was mutable and there was a risk of some external code overwriting the value of undefined with some other value to mess with the code and now in this function uh, what we can do is we can directly access any item inside the body using this d so d is an argument which uh, which has the value or which is pointing to this document now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a div over here and then um, okay I'm going to, I have added a div and I'm going to wire up a click event with with this div and for that let's set some style so that there there is a clickable area and let's have the display as block and let's set the width as I think 400 px should be enough the border could be 2 px and then solid and black let's also have the padding as 10 px now inside this we can write the text as click me and let's also give it an ID okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first get the reference of this div using documents get element by ID and the ID is container 
now let's wire up the click event which is on click equals to a function now this function is simply going to write a message on the console and the message is div div is clicked and let's just comment out this entire thing so that we can see if our code is working or not so we have a div over here and when I'm clicking on this div then this div is clicked message is getting written on the console so let's also involve a little bit of closer over here and to do that let's have a counter variable and initialize its value with a 1 now we can use this counter in this message and we are also incrementing the value of the counter every time the div is clicked now the messages are different because the counters value is incrementing by one every time we click on the div so this this function which is basically being wired up to the click event of this div this container div is holding on to the reference of this counter so even when we have exited from the execution of this function this counter will will be uh, this counter is going to remain in the memory because this div element is this div elements click event is wired up with a function which is holding on to the reference of this counter so we have a closer over here and then we have a, a module is very small module and this module will make sure that we are not polluting the global scope of the window and that's it alright so this was all about the self executing functions there are a lot more design patterns which are created around around this function so that's it uh, if you have any questions then feel free to ask them in the comment section and I hope that you will find this video informative thank you for hearing me all this time have a good day